Hi everybody, it's your friendly neighborhood hanger hobbit here and welcome aboard the Dogushin LA7, a subscriber request for Mike Owen. And I'm sorry Mike, but this is going to be a why you shouldn't fly this bird video. Look at the teams. 7 out of 11 of them are RP farming. And it turns out one of the fighters is also RP farming. That's 8 out of 11. With those kind of odds, you need a plane that can dominate. You need a plane that can get above everybody else and just raffle stomp. Now, is this bird the one that can dominate a match? Yeah, let's talk about belts, boys and girls. This is the Tracer Rounds. FITs, or as I like to call them, the Turd Rounds. And there's not a single belt. Whoop! There's a hit that didn't do nothing. Come on, can we get two hits that don't do anything? I'm sure we can. Yep, there's two hits that didn't do anything. I'm convinced that the FITs in this game aren't actually exploding. They're just going right through the plane, just like it was a lead slug. Because it's not really doing any obvious damage of any sort to the freaking frame. If you don't hit a wing spark, it does nothing. Let's see, third time? Yep. And that crit was me hitting the wing spar. Everything else just bounced harmlessly right off the plane. I should have saved the chat because the guy actually talked to me in chat after the match told me how about I got ripped off because he said it was sparking all over the plane but was not doing a dang thing. Until that final hit, he wasn't even yellow on his freaking little plane diagram. And see, the bitch is, uh, guess what? there ain't a single belt on this plane that doesn't have FITs in it. Yep. Right now I'm using the armored targets but that's still one FIT to three API. So 25% turd rounds. And that's the best belt this thing gets. The rest of them are 35% or better turd round. That's like saying a ham sandwich that's 75% ham, 25% dog turd is a ham sandwich no it's a dog turd sandwich it's just slightly less turdy uh, and this boys and girls is the best match I could get in this thing and it was a loss in fact every single match in this thing was a loss you want to know why guess where my team is go on take a guess yep four foot off the ground farming Yep, full of farmers. Didn't matter if you got the American team or you got the Russian team. They're farming. Why? Because the Americans and the Russians have some really good ground pounders, which it makes them really cheap and easy to pay for tanks. You got your SU-6s, your IL-10s, your A-26s, your friggin' P-47 loaded with rockets and bombs. Tons and tons and tons of freaking farmers. And what do you face in this thing like nine times out of ten? This right here. You're facing A7M1s, A6M5s, 109 G10s, F4s. And when you do get against the Americans, you're usually facing P47 D25s. P-51 D-30s and D-10s and D-20s. Oh, what do all these planes have in common, boys and girls? Can you say high altitude performance? I think you can. Guess what this plane doesn't have any of at all? Yeah. Don't let the stat card fool you. I've got this thing up to 7,000 meters. It handled like a bus with two flat tires. You see that? This match is now over. Yep. Rest of the guys are at 7K and they just boom and zoom us to death because there's nobody left. And I can't climb up that high because this thing wheezes and sneezes like it's an 85 year old trying to get up a flight of stairs once it gets past 6,000 meters. In fact, it don't even really handle good after five. But this right here is what you see mm, nine times out of 10 closer to 10 out of 10 actually probably about 99.5 this is me desperately trying to save what's left of my team because guess what they're all RP farming 
and I don't have the high altitude performance to go up top to deal with the bunch that's right now slaughtering all our bombers. P-51D-30s, P-47D-25s, Spitfire F Mark 9s, all of which outclimbed me. And I tried. I tried getting this sucker up to 7K and fighting them up there. Uh, no. This thing handles worse than an IO-2 at 7,000 meters. It can't generate energy. It cannot freaking dive. Literally, hey, you try to dive with a P-51D behind you? He's just going to laugh and rip you apart because you will fly yourself apart before he even gets it wound up good. He can dive nearly 200 kilometers an hour faster than you can. Same goes for the F-4. Heck, even the Spitfire doesn't lock up as early as you do. I can put a Spitfire F Mark 9 in a dive and keep up with this thing. That's just sad. And see, look, team's gone. Yep. We got one guy that's landed out in the woods after freaking using his Yak 9T to kill freaking pillboxes. And that's it. Takes about a minute and a half for the stupid game to register. He's actually dead, but oh well. I'm sure you'll see the defeat come up here in a second. I'm sorry, Mike. Air RB, this is not a good plane. Maybe an AB, it's a good plane. Enduring confrontation. Something where you actually have a reason for planes to fly low and engage below 4,000 meters. See, this plane was built to fight against the 190 with bombs on it and the freaking ducks on the eastern front. That's not what you get in this game. What you get in this game is everybody's at 7K and you're at 4,500 just waiting to get picked off. So I'm sorry, but no. Fly the Stalin Bolt. Fly the Yak-9. Fly the Yak-3P. Fly the 185. Any of those are better than this bird. This bird just doesn't have the high altitude performance for the meta of 4.7 to 5.3 in Air RB. It just can't cut the mustard. Well, I hope you like and share, and I hope to see you up there in the clouds. Have a good one, y'all.